All right, we've installed Polybar and Arch Merge and Open Box. And there's a tutorial about how to install, how to activate Polybar and Open Box. This one is about, hey, how about all these details about these files? And we have this application Atom, and Atom is already loaded to get everything in place. Atom is open, and we have already this Polybar to the left. How did we achieve this? Well, first off, we have to go to Tunar. It's in Polybar, so .config Polybar. It's like saying, look, I open this with. Open other application, Atom, always as default. And then you'll see that everything opens here in this Atom application. You see a lot of uh, coloring, so that's nice. If you want to see if anything goes wrong, if you're retyping or changing code, then you see that this coloring is, is going bizarre, bizarre, or how do you say it, it's going wrong. So we have here, let's go over the elements of our polybar folder. So in the polybar folder, you have first things first, the launch sh, this is open box, launching things in open box comes from the auto start. So auto start says, look guys, Forget about TIN2, let's get this launch SH thing. So that's what happens. We launch this thing and let's go over it. Arch Merge, the intention of Arch Merge is that you learn, have fun, and we have here links and we provided them along the configuration file as well. All the play, all, everything that's blue is a link. So you are stuck, you want to know more, learn more, and then you see a link and then you just copy paste it in Firefox, Google Chrome or Vivaldi. So starting with the launch, we have here a possibility to install more. If you, we've done this already, Polybar has been installed, but there is also maybe a possibility for the nerd fonts. Uh, it was one of our first attempts to, to work with Polybar. But the nerd fonts cost us 200 to 300 megabytes so it's lots of uh, megabytes just to have fonts so if you want to have uh, other fonts than the one we provide which is awesome and let's go to another workspace for instance and we have here vivaldi let's open vivaldi and there is a great thing that's called awesome cheat sheet and awesome font has uh, well lots of icons. It's just font you have to install. Just one font doesn't cost lots of megabytes. And these fonts can be used in your um, polybar. If you say I like this one or I like this far rebel, Control C. You just go back to your workspace, Control V, and it understands it. So there it is. There's your icon. You can put this icon instead of other icons up here like this one, for instance, you can change it just by getting this awesome thing, copy paste from here and put it back in your config. So no, we did not install it. You can install it. What does it do? Because this is just text, everything with a hashtag is just text. And this is the first command it'll do. First, before launching, it's gonna check, is everything killed? So there's a command that says kill everything. Everything that's called polybar has to go. Then while it still finds polybar, do nothing. Sleep until you don't find, uh, don't find, can't find polybar anymore. And then there's a go. Polybar has been killed. Check. Then it's going to look for the desktop session. So we'll have lots of desktop sessions in the future. At this point in time, it's i3 open box and BSP WM. We have that already here, but it's not there yet. We still have to make the configurations, make the tutorials, but we'll get there. Xmonad, Jim uh, WM, or GM. There are lots of um, other tiling window managers out there that we can use this panel. So we'll probably make this line of our configuration or launch script here longer and longer and longer just by telling look guy what's your desktop and if the desktop is i3 then it's going to execute some things so let's go in inside i've explained this i3 thing in another tutorial so let's go to the open box line here 26 it's saying it's a copy paste but something different 
Well, it talks about XRender. So you just type XRender and it's an application. It checks what you're on. It's um, VGA1 is the one with the dash, uh, is my screen, my monitor, and it also shows us what uh, possibilities you have for resolutions and the one that's normal, the standard one. So, okay, so it's VGA dash one is what I'm on. And this long line, let me see, I should begin here and stop there. Control C, Control Alt, Control Shift V, and there you go. So all it does is figure out what screen do I have to put polybar on. That's going to be put in an M variable and the monitor variable is then filled in. So it knows that it has one or two or three or four or five monitors and in each monitor it finds it will pop up or will put up a polybar, reload it. So when you save you reload polybar, main bar, open box, we are on open box. Here it's called open box and here it's called i3. That's not the main difference actually. And the configuration file is the one that we're working on in a few minutes. That's that one here. So if lots of monitors, put it on every monitor, else just on one monitor, okay, go ahead and put it on. So that's that. Why is this hashtag out? Well, uh, we have uh, an, a team member of Arch Merch who likes to have two polybars so one in the top and one in the bottom and that's why there is a main bar open box extra that's the only difference between this one and that one that it's called extra so we can have a second a third a fourth polybar uh, in your system uh, four monitors four polybars no problem everything will work but you have to put it in here and tell them okay that one goes there that one goes there this is where everything is launched. So if you say I do want to have that as well in my open box, I want to have two pull, um, um, panels or polybars, then get rid of the hashtags and you can activate that one as well. That's basically what's happening here, launching polybars on different monitors. All right. Then it goes to the config and it will read through uh, these 1600 lines here are 1400 lines that's okay again all these links um, investigate them learn about it from them from the original developer and um, figure out how everything works we do not have all the answers and we are well with a few guys so first look there google arch wiki and then ask us What's interesting for us to know here in OpenBox that you have global elements, margin top, margin bottom. Okay. Elements, general settings. Take a look at the explanations link here. I just pick out um, some of them that's interesting. So the screen change reload true. So if you save Control S, then it's going to reload our system up here. So that's a great option. This thing looks ugly, it's intended to look ugly. Those are, those are the fallback values. If you forget to make nice coloring, then it will show up with red and in the foreground and the background will be green. So it will be really ugly. So you'll see you have forgotten to format your elements. This is the coloring. So if you want to change the coloring, say, okay, this North theme, let's give this Gotham theme and uh, try and then just delete these well there it go when you forget to put this one here and then delete this one then you have a problem so two backgrounds will already result in a crash of the system so it's really um yeah you have to be diff you have to be careful not to forget things and to um not to have doubles for instance and then save and everything is saved um, so the coloring, that's that. Main bar i3 I've explained in another tutorial, so I'm skipping that one and I'm going straight away to the main bar open box because we are on open box. 
box. So this, this particular module is getting his, his uh, monitor. The monitor is, is defined in the launch as H. But if something goes wrong, you can try to rename it here. AGMI1, maybe it's VGA1 or something else. With XRender, you'll figure it out. And you can put it in here and see if that works. The height and the width. The height, we've changed that in the previous tutorial. And the width, we can change it here as well and see what happens. 50 is this. Um, so, not nice. Let's get back to the standard settings. But some things can be changed. Bottom false. If you say bottom true, you guess what happens. It's at the bottom. Reloading here, you can do it like so. Ctrl Z, save. And it's back at the top. What else? Background. So this background and foreground thing, it comes from colors background. So scroll up, well, really scroll up. And this is colors and this is background. And that's how we, we refer to this element. This variable is uh, referred by it like this. All explained on the wiki of Polybar. Line sizes, line color, so just really ugly. So you see if something is, is not defined. The fonts, we've defined the fonts here. Like I told you earlier, all the icons you see down there are based on the font awesome. And the size is 10. If you want the size bigger, you can do so. Uh, it's changed here. And this one, the Noto Mono, we needed that one to have the CPU at its place. It's, it's not jumping about. If we have one digit or two digits or three digits, it will not jump around. It will be steady and will not change place. That's why we need a monospace font. That's why it's in there. This one, EMH, that's... Uh, oh, it's not reloaded. So let's reload it. Sometimes we need to actually quit. So log out and log in again and see if Everything loads back. Uh -huh. So now it's loaded. Let's delete wallpaper. That's better wallpaper. So this is EMH. And let's activate Atom again. There she is. So EMH, that's this one. All the workspaces are there. Then if you open a window, then it is X window. That's a module to have this thing here. Release is this thing. Kernel is a module and it's this thing. Memory one, memory two, uh, sorry, CPU one. And here the date that you can change if you want to and the system icons up here. So anything with system icons, that's one of the third, just two rules. So anything that has a system icon will not be created. It will not create a module or not create a script. It's there. We have a icon. We can do our thing with these icons. Uh, for instance, Spotify was making an icon in this uh, polybar, but we have icons for caffeine, polybar, uh, for um, Spotify and uh, stuff like that. So if there is an icon in the system, con system panel here, we will not make anything in polybar. What's more, we have also scripts, and that's another rule. We rather not make scripts. If we can make a module just in one line, just in, in, in here, in the config, then we'll always do that. But if it's not possible, we'll add scripts here and then we'll make sure we point to it and it's executed. For the rest, frame position to the right, to the left, and all the rest is okay. And then this is the main bar open box extra. So like I told you, if you want to have an extra bar and the extra bar is going to the bottom, bottom is true. So if you say, let's do this and then the video is complete, you say, okay, let's try this. I want to have also a second poly bar here at the bottom. Okay, then we have to reload it. Easiest way is just log out, log on, it's so fast, 
and see what happens. Here we see something, a poly bar with some information and we'll choose, or we have to choose what we'll put in this one here and what we'll put on top. And that's for an other tutorial since, well, I think we have seen everything from the config. Let's take a look. So we were actually, we're actually in here, open box extra. And all it does is a copy paste from the other one, main bar, op main bar open box. And I told him to go to the bottom. Um, this one, bottom is true. And what you put in here again, that Spotify is, is not launched, so nothing is seen here. This one is needs uh, an intervention of our part, so nothing is shown. And here we see the file system. So next up is all these modules, because if you scroll a bit down, this is still to be made, BSPWM, M, and uh, here is a module I3. And we'll continue with later on with, 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 with the modules. So modules A and Z are applied to any desktop environment. So it's, it's all for any uh, environment usable or can be used for any environment. All right. Cheers.